Hey, it's John Nemo. I want to show you one of the best places on all of LinkedIn to find warm leads, people that are warm, that are kind of qualified because they're checking you out here on the platform. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. And so I'm going to show you the first place to find it just in the LinkedIn home feed. So, you know, you're just in your normal LinkedIn home feed when you log in, look under your image and you should see something that says profile viewers. Now, this is people who have checked you out, who have looked at your profile and you can kind of see, you know, how many people in a given week might look at your profile and you see all these trends. That's not what I'm interested in. What I'm interested in is these actual folks. You can see here actual people who have looked at your profile and then most importantly, when. So you can see this person literally viewed one hour ago and here's how they found me. They they found me through people similar to you and this person viewed two hours ago so you're able to get kind of context for how they found you sometimes it'll say where they found you but the key is you can immediately look and take action so again if this person Michael looked at me I can immediately message him because he's a first degree connection I can go down to this person um, you know who is not a connection and see who they are if they look like a good fit I can invite them to connect this person is inviting me to connect so I can see I can accept their invite. But again, this is a great way to find kind of warm leads where you can see, okay, somebody looked at your profile. Um, you can either message them or connect. And what I used to say is, okay, you can always do all this manually, right? You can just scroll forever and ever and ever and kind of look through it and do it one at a time. But there's an even better way now that LinkedIn has added if you have Sales Navigator. So let me show you this. So if you go into Sales Navigator, open that up on LinkedIn, and then if you just go into the normal lead filters, so just click on that, what you'll see here at the top is this thing that says buyer intent. And it has a button here that you can turn on viewed your profile recently. Now, I don't know how recently it is. I'm assuming the last 30 days or something like that, but you can see it immediately pulls up over a thousand people that have looked at my profile recently. Maybe it's the last week. I don't know. Um, but you can see here, it'll give you extra data. They viewed your profile. You have 14 people in common. This person also recently did two posts on LinkedIn. So you can really kind of explore and get context for conversation. But what I like about this in Sales Navigator is instead of me having to manually go through one at a time and look at all these people on regular LinkedIn and decide if they're a good fit, and I have to filter you know, between, here, let me get my drawing tool, you know, between, oh, they're already connected first degree, they're second degree, um, did I invite them, did I not invite them, all these things, what I can do is use Sales Navigator and make my life much easier. So for example, you can layer onto this list, um, you know, where the person is based and, uh, you know, a geography and job titles. So again, you can use all these different layers if you have Sales Navigator to make a better list. So instead of just randomly 1,000 people, whether they're first, second, third degree, what I'm gonna do is actually go down here and hit connection and say, I just want second degree or third degree people, okay? And then I can immediately trim it down from 1,000 to 850. Uh, let's say I'm gonna go in and I wanna look at job titles. So LinkedIn's already saying, hey, listen, you know, uh, you got a bunch of people in business development or a bunch of people seniority level. So let's just look at current job title. I'll actually just do that. And I can say, I want coach or consultant. So let's just say coach or consultant, right? And all of a sudden I can get really niched and say, okay, I have 10 people, they're coaches or consultants, whatever it is, right? I can obviously do more. Um, if I want to get someone with a sales title, right? I can look at sales titles. Uh, if you don't want to get that specific, you can just say function, right? And you, it'll show you, hey, of the 800 people on the list, you got 99 people in marketing, you get 225 in biz dev. So you can kind of slice this. You can say, oh, I don't care about people in education, <laughs> which is terrible to say because I'm the son of two teachers. Uh, exclude education, right? Okay. But again, you can trim the list this way. You can say, oh, you know what? This isn't really my target audience, finance, art, and design. That's not my people. Um, I really want just the sales people. I don't want the operation people. I want the marketing, right? So I can exclude and include. Anyway, you can quickly trim this list. And now you're seeing, okay, great. VP sales and marketing, you know, director of sales, uh, a franchise consultant. Okay, I want that person, da, 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 right? So like you can quickly get more nuanced. You could also get into some of these other ones of like geography and say, 
I only want to find people in the United States, right? I don't want to, I want to narrow this down because I'm not doing business outside of the United States right now. So now that list went from a thousand to 42. This is 42 people in sales roles, right? What did I say? Sales role, sales function. Um, you know, maybe I want senior level people only so I can look at seniority levels. See, I've got eight entry level people looking at my profile. Want to exclude them. Let's not bother. I want the senior level. Who else have we got, right? Director. This is the power of LinkedIn data and to save you time. So again, rather than scrolling through all of these to only find senior level salespeople in the United States, I can simply do it here and go, cool. I've got 34 of these people in sales, a senior, you know, senior role, uh, director level role. What I really like about uh, this uh, buyer intent and then, you know, the best path in, like, you know, who else do you know? Like you can see if you have any shared experiences of places you've worked. So if I turn that on, let's see why it's thinking that. Oh, we both went to the University of St. Thomas. So again, you can see uh, shared experiences is, did you both go to the same school? Did you work at the same place? So these guys are both Tommies. So University of St. Thomas, you know, I could be like, hey, it looks like you're a Tommy. That's so cool, right? So I can, let's see if I click on that, um, all recent posts. Okay, so just more information. So you can find context for conversations. You can also look and say these, you know, I wanna find 12 people that recently posted on LinkedIn. I bet if I click on that, I can see, yeah. So I can see their recent post. I can open it in a new tab. So there's a lot here you can do with Sales Navigator where you can kind of get into the weeds. I think it also had, you know, five people that recently changed jobs that looked at my profile. So I could message these five people or invite them. Hey, it looks like you recently just changed jobs. How's it going, right? Recently hired, it shows. Recently hired, recently hired. So the key with this is depending on your end goal, Instead, I mean, obviously the gold is in looking and realizing anyone looking at your profile is a potential lead, correct? Because again, there's a reason they're checking you out on LinkedIn. So you want to, you want to, you know, know this and go, okay, these people are looking at me. Who are they? Are they potential prospects for me? Potential clients? Now, the old school way was just to scroll through them forever and then invite or message to connect and kind of evaluate them one at a time. The new way is, of course, to, to do this through Sales Navigator. So you can say, listen, turn this on. My son's messaging me about the Minnesota Twins. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Um, wacky game. All right. So then you can kind of say, listen, people who viewed me recently, um, they're this level of connection. Uh, and then, you know, you can see, are they connections of anyone else, you know, that I know? And I, I just love this because you get context. Context for conversation is the key on LinkedIn. Now I can make kind of a ready-made list of people in a certain level, sales role. Um, they recently got hired, so I have something to put into my note. And then again, I can just click right here to message them. I've got the little drop downs. I can save them to lists, right? I can reach out to connect. I can view the profile. I can save them to a list on LinkedIn. And then also you can see here, it will notify you of new results across the top. So if I save all these filters, anytime a new person views my profile that fits that criteria, that will save uh, or will alert me, right? And then all of a sudden I've got these new messages. So powerful new features coming into Sales Navigator. Yet another reason to kind of upgrade if you haven't. And again, I don't have any stock in LinkedIn. <laughs> I should have. Um, but this is one of the reasons I like Sales Navigator is LinkedIn's smart. There's over a billion people on this platform and they know that, you know, all the data they have on each and every member like you and like me, they're taking all this data that I've entered into my profile. So where I work, you know, where I went to school, right? And it's looking and going, okay, John went to this college. You know, we can now on the back end use that data in Sales Navigator to kind of make a connection or a point of, you know, context for someone that also went to that school or also worked at this place, right? Or also was interested in these topics. And so Every single keystroke, every single thing you've ever put into LinkedIn, they're saving and categorizing and then making it searchable in Sales Navigator. So that on the back end, you and me can really create these targeted lists um, based on you know specific things well beyond just job title or industry or things like that. So again, great tool to use, whether you do this um, just you know organically and just manually looking at who viewed your profile, 
I, I still do this, like just go through on a given day, maybe five, 10, 20 people. And if there's a good lead in there, usually you can just look at based on their job title or whatever. Obviously you can right click and open up their profile, but I really like the idea of just now being able to go into sales navigator and just, you know, turn it on right here and then layer on filters, you know, whatever it might be, put in the list together. And then again, whether you do it, whether your team does it, you can message someone, you know, invite them with context and you can get really targeted laser like focus, which is awesome. So have at it. Um, make sure you use this. This is honestly one of the best places to find new prospects on LinkedIn that are interested, that are warm. Cause think about it. If they're viewing your profile, they're already warming up to you, your personal brand. They're seeing, you know, anything you have in terms of social credibility, what you do, who you serve, any content you're sharing. Maybe they're looking through some of your posts, right? But they're getting a good feel for you. They're kicking the tires on you. It's the equivalent of them visiting your website, right? If you, if you could see every single person that visited your website and then have an ability to immediately message them, that would be gold, right? So that's essentially what this is on LinkedIn is, I wanna see every single person that visits my quote unquote LinkedIn website and then know are they worth me reaching out to one-on-one -on -one or not based on all these different variables. So uh, I love, love, love this kind of stuff because again, it saves you so much time instead of just you know randomly messaging people on LinkedIn, message the people that are already interested in you already looking at your stuff. So get after it, go from there and we'll see you soon uh, in another video.